What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Nickel's YouTube channel. Today is a Wednesday, and that means it is way back Wednesday. And today we're looking at Pokemon 2007 World decks. And uh, down below, I actually have a video to where I talk about both these decks and explain what the cards do. And you can see them uh, in full screen and everything like that. So that way you know what the cards do here. And as you see on the left, we see Flygon. And on the right, we have a Polygon deck. So here we have a Holland Mentor discarding a Holland Adventure. And this says search deck for three basic Pokemon and put them into your hand. Now the thing here is Flygon is a deck that does bench damage to basic Pokemon on the or does damage to basic Pokemon on the bench. So here I'm actually not gonna put down all these Piplups because if Kenton has a turn one rare candy Flygon, he can actually start doing damage to his Piplups just by its poke uh, its ability or poke power. So here I just put down one Piplup so that way it doesn't happen here. because um, on this game you can actually rare candy into a, 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 a and a pulling on whatever you want to. So we see a pass here. Or I actually do it the first attack. And I think it's just a pack or something. That's 10 damage, obviously, as we see there. Uh, here we see a Holland Mentor from Kitten's side, too. And with all these Holland cards, you actually have to discard a, a card from your hand. And which is, uh, I think I talk about a lot in the video. So here we see him and discard actually a Flygon, which is the Delta Supply Flygon, which uh, lets you attach a, an, another energy from your hand to one of your Delta Pokemon, which is pretty cool. Um, just helps you set up Pokemon. So I imagine here he'll get a. F okay, so we see a Bidu. Uh, I imagine maybe a Spearow, maybe an Eevee. Oh, never mind. Bidu comes back up. Um, <clears throat> there's a Spearow. There's an Eevee. And the Eevee's good for the Jolteon to start attacking with Flygon. And here we see a. Okay, so it does get the Bidu here. Now, Bidu just helps you set up because he lets you search your deck for a trained card without any energy requirements. So that's pretty cool. And the Eevee's there because the Jolteon does 10 damage to all your opponent's Pokemon. And we see a pass from Kitten, so it doesn't really have anything. And here we see a Cilios for me. Search your deck for an evolution card. So here I get a Print Plup. And let's see what else I have here. I have a Water Energy. And let's see. We have two options with attack. Either does 10 to all Pokemon. Or oh, I think it snipes a Pokemon for like 30. Uh, they just actually just take out the active there. I think it, it might do more than that. Here we see Rick Candy, Flygon, Jolteon, 10 damage all Pokemon, and a Copycat, which says shuffle your hand into your deck and draw as many cards as your opponent has here. And I think we see a Crystal Shard come on down to Badoo, uh, which makes him a colors type. It couldn't just really throw that away, uh, just because it's not really useful here in this matchup. So let's see, what does Ken get here? Does he have an energy or anything? Uh, we see another Eevee come down. This maybe wants to put on a Vaporeon or Vaporeon or maybe a Jolteon or something. We see a Lightning Energy go down to the Eevee. And we see Bidu's use his attack. Just search your deck for a trainer card. I had to get up for some reason. But Ken's trying to bait and what trainer card to get. Oh, I think I know what happened here. I think Justin Aaron is playing on PTCGO and he got logged out, so I had to log him back in. Luckily, Kenton's just uh, looking here, looking through his deck to see what's going on here. So I imagine Kenton will probably get either a Rare Candy, which we see him eyeballing right now. We see him like, oh, maybe I need this Rare Candy. Maybe he has another Flygon in his tech deck to start using. Oh, we see Kenton cheated against me. He moved the energy. Oh, oh, he, I didn't even notice he moved the energies. But we see that Kenton was like, ah, this energy on the Eevee is kind of useless. Sorry about that. I didn't know I was gone for that long. Uh, maybe something happened. I thought Jared would play for me. I guess he decided not to, just opted not to. But, okay, here I come back. All right, so we see that Kenton did get the rare candy. I don't think he even showed me what he got. Um, so let's see, my turn. I draw. I drawn my own rare candy. He was seeing Polygon come to play. Uh, do I have a supporter to use? Do I have an energy? Now, with the Polygon, we can either do, I think it's 40 to a Pokemon, or 70 to the active, and knock it out. I'm trying to debate on what to do here. Maybe my hand's not that great. I know it's uh, two Piplups and something else. Here we see a Holland Transceiver to get an Adventurer. Uh, me and Jared trying to decide what's the best option here. So we see an Adventurer here to draw three cards. And I guess I whiff the energy. Here we see a, a Piplup come down. Here we see a Curse Stone. And which puts 10 damage on all Pokemon that have abilities. And here I snipe the Spearow. Uh, knock it out. I think it's a Curse Stone, so I think. Uh, I could be wrong though. There we go. There's, there's, they're taking damage now. Okay, the the Bidu, Jolteon, and Flygon take damage. I was like, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be taking damage. Uh, so let's see, what does Kent have here? We see a Lightning Energy in his hand. Does he have a Rare Candy or not? Let's see, he's debating one card right now. Uh, here we see a Cast Firm coming down, picking up the Lightning Energy. 
Yeah, we see a delta supply on two. Or did he delta supply the flag on first? Oh no, he does. He does supply it to the sharp edge. Uh, here we see a professor Elms, uh, probably searching for a. Oh no, he has the rare candy hand, so he can search for a flag on here. So here we see a flag on coming out. Here we see a rare candy, the flag on. Now professor Elms has such a deck for an evolution card, so that's why he can get the flag on there. And we saw him get the rare candy last turn with Bedu's attack. So pretty good turn from Kenton. Uh, here we see Bedu uses attack again to search for a professor Elms. So on our turn, here we see the 10 damage getting stacked everywhere. Alright. So let's see what happens here. We see a Napoleon come down from me. Here we see a Scramble Energy. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. It makes it have three energies if you're down in prizes, but we're not down in prizes right now. Here I use a Holland uh, Scientist, which says discard a card from hand and draws many cards. It drops him as many cards as the opponent has. And uh, here we see 40 damage onto that. Jolteon, I think that's what it does. Um, maybe I should have been attacking the Rob, the Flygon, because this Flygon's going to start hurting here. I think it has 130 HP. Um, 150. Here we see a Windstorm discarding the Curse Stone. So no more 10 damage on these Pokemon. And here we see an 80 and 10 to the bench. Now it does 80 and 10 to every bench Pokemon that has damage counters on it. Um, now the reason I'm not dropping this Piplup is because Flygon has an ability that says put 10 damage on Pokemon. On the on bench Pokemon that are basics. So as soon as I put them down, they'll start taking damage, and the flag will do 80 and then 10 to it again, which e which can easily stack up to 30. Uh, so here I knock out the Jolteon EX. So now we're up uh, s two to six in prizes. Look like we're doing good here. We see an energy come down to the EV. Now the only problem here is Skin's gonna knock me out, and I don't have a good response here. We're gonna be up in prizes, so Scramble's energy is not gonna work. Here we see an Absol. Which does exactly what the new one does now. Move 30 damage from one Pokemon to another. Here we see the opponent come active. Let's see here. I know I have the Pipple, so I can at least survive one turn here. Here we see a Cess Crystal coming down. Uh, shut down all abilities. Here we see a Holland. A ca I mean, a Castaway, sorry. Search your deck for a Water Tool and a Supporter card. Now, what Supporter card would I grab here? Um. Maybe an adventurer, just to start drawing more cards. Yeah, so I'll get the adventurer here. I'm not really sure if that's the correct play, but it's what I decided at the time. So here we get the white energy, and we can start doing 40 damage to Pokemon. So we see another Cess Crystal come down to the Pip-Up. And I'm uh, trying to debate where this 40 goes. I'm, I only need two prizes left. If I can snipe the Eevee, and then snipe it again, and then maybe get a Curse Stone down, and knock out two Pokemon, maybe put 40 damage on the Flygon. So I put on the Eevee here. Let's see what Ken does here. We see a Hollow Transceiver to get. I'm uh, not really sure what he got there. Maybe he's looking through his deck to get something actually. Here we see an, uh, an Adventurer. Oh, never mind. He decides to take it back. Let's see here. Here we see a Holland Scientist. So that way he can draw more cards here. But like I said, if I can snipe this Eevee again, and then. Um, Okay, never mind. He just oh, so he actually just plays the Professor Elms. Uh, adventure uh, transceiver says search your deck for a card, but actually use it. But here we see the Vaporeon, and that's really smart from Kitten because if he had gotten the Jolteon, we could have maybe got a double knockout with a Snipe and then a Curse Stone. So here we see a Vaporeon come to play. Now Vaporeon does have ability where I can shuffle, where he can shuffle my hand into my deck and uh, draw four cards. So here we see a knockout on the Napoleon. Sit a pip up. Do I have the rare candy Napoleon? Um. I have the energy. I'm trying to beat what's happening here. Let's see. Maybe I made a mistake earlier when I discarded the pip up. Uh, we look like we're in really good shape here, but we haven't really drawn anything. Here we see a Holland Adventurer. Discard a card and draw three. So let's see what card I'm gonna draw here. When you hit a rare candy Empoleon and a curse stone, it will be really good shape. That's a really crazy three cards here. Rare candy, Empoleon. Let's see what we get here. And it doesn't seem like I have anything, so I think round one's gonna go Ken here. This is a best two out of three here, and they are very good best two out of threes. This one, this one wasn't so great. Um, we saw me take an early lead, and then Ken kind of pulled it back. I didn't have anything, so here we see the energy to pip up, and uh, yep, we're gonna see Flygon do 80 damage to pip up and win the game. Yep, so we see a pull out, pip up gets knocked out, kind of had dead hands. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have, want to see the breakdown of the deck, the link will be down below. Go check it out. You can see how both decks work and what the cards are. But thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty. Bye.